everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be straightening my hair, getting it to look like this, as well as telling you guys a story on how and when I had plastic surgery. Can you guess what I got done? Okay, so I'm not sure if you guessed by now what plastic surgery I had, but um, the thing is... I don't think you'll ever guess. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get into the story now. I was five years old and um, I had a dog, a German Shepherd, and then I had a puppy. Um, I'm not sure what breed it was, but um, I had a puppy that was the neighbor, I think, that their dogs had. Um, a litter so basically they decided to give me a puppy because I was crying for it so I named her Queenie and my previous dog named Prince was uh, a German Shepherd I'm not sure yeah like I said I'm not sure what type of dog Queenie was um, so I was five I didn't know much and I remember on this day my mom was like no she's making bacon and eggs for breakfast now I didn't really like bacon and eggs and even like up till now I don't, I'm not a fan of bacon or eggs so um she told me that she's making that and I'm like okay let me eat it like I will eat it just not now because I was eating rice krispies for breakfast and I'm like um I felt bad for my puppy uh, because like usually you know like you feed your dogs because you like you feel bad or whatever so I felt really sad for my puppy uh, because she was she was just born but she like used to eat a lot you know like it was crazy she used to eat like a lot so I was like no actually like I think my puppy is hungry Queenie I was like I think Queenie is hungry so um, I'm gonna feed her my rice krispies and then I will get another bowl when I'm done so my dad was outside um i think he was like busy in the garden or something and then my mom was frying bacon and eggs and then my brother uh i remember him sitting on the table waiting to eat uh and then when that happened i went outside to feed my puppy queenie my rice krispies so i put it in her bowl and then um Prince got so angry and uh, I think he was like jealous because I grew up with Prince like from the time I was a baby they got me that dog so like I grew up with him and um, like from Durban so yeah Prince got very jealous that uh, Queenie was like my new uh, favorite dog or whatever and uh, so I fed her and I just put the bowl down and all of a sudden Prince jumped on me. So he jumped on me and uh, he locked his jaw on my cheek. So um, he locked his jaw on my cheek and I just remember I just started screaming but this dog was like growling and literally had locked jaws on my cheek um, and started like pulling my whole face like apart like he was, he was gonna destroy me, he was gonna kill me. And um, when that was done, um, I, I, it happened like right in front of my door so my brother saw it and then he told my mom and then she ran out and she tried to she was kicking the dog out of my face like kind of, like trying to get it off because his jaws was like locked on my face so she was like trying to pull him out and whatever and he didn't want to let go of my face so she like had to like push him out and he didn't want to let go so she like literally had to like kick him and when she kicked him he his jaw was locked so it literally ripped my whole face apart and my ear and yes my ear is still intact so um i don't lose the ear i still have my ear but um i remember i had even like gold earrings at the time and uh yeah he took it off like he took my whole ear off and um he took my whole cheek off so i literally had like it was terrible i was like half, like i had half a face and um they after you know it was really scary and whatever so my dad so also and he just got like such a shock and the first thing they did was obviously take me to the hospital i went to sunwood park hospital and um they admitted me there and then um i remember when i was in the car i was like 
I just remember crying and my mom was holding like a face towel on my face and my aunt was also there and she was holding me and I think they thought they were gonna lose me because I was like bleeding like crazy and I was five years old and then I was a baby so um yeah like I remember that and um it was just like so weird um at the same time like because it was just like so much going on and I, I I still remember everything though I still remember it's like every single step and whatever happened and it was just like so strange um, and I can't believe that I still remember every single thing. But um, yeah, what happened? Yeah, then we went to Sunday Park Hospital and I had plastic surgery. So I literally had about, I think it was 86 stitches all over my face. Um, yeah, it was 86 stitches on my face and I had. Um, and yeah, you can see and it is like telly marks all over my face. So, um, yeah, I had 86 stitches on my face. It was not a good time. Um, uh, I remember even when I, when I was in hospital and then they were giving me food, um, they gave me Rice Krispies and I haven't eaten Rice Krispies since then because I, whenever I think about Rice Krispies, I think about the time I almost died. So yeah, I had plastic surgery when I was five and it's all over my face. I'm just so like grateful that the dog never like bite my, my lip or my nose or like my eye or my neck. If, if he bit me, I would have been dead. So I'm just really grateful that I'm still alive. Um, but yeah, it was just like super weird and like I, it was like, really, really, really intense. Um, but the weird thing is that I don't hate dogs. Like, I love dogs, um, I still love dogs, I have dogs, two dogs, so it's not like I hate dogs and I don't have a fear of dogs, although I got bitten by him, but um, he was very vicious and violent and unfortunately after him attacking me and you know like, um, basically we were the owners and if he attacked me he could attack anyone and it was just a danger and I didn't want to come home because I was so scared of him that he was going to bite me. Uh, again, so unfortunately we had to take him to the vet and um, put him off because he was just dangerous and uh, I don't think my family wanted me to be surrounded by that again because it was such a traumatic experience and I was such a young kid. So um, yeah, I just guess that's what happened with my plastic surgery and um, I had stitches on my face, 86, it was like very, I always thought like it's gonna make me like so ugly and that I hate it and um, you know like I hate it but this is because of my dog so it looks like um, I always thought it looked like a dimple when I smile but this is my dog's teeth mark um, so yeah uh, I had plastic surgery I didn't even say how look at me I don't know even know where I'm going with the story but yeah um, what they had to do in order to give me plastic surgery was um, they had to find a piece of um, skin that matched exactly like to my face so um, they, they and they had to find a big a big enough skin so that they don't have to put like many pieces together and they had to do like skin grafting for me so um, what they did was actually took a piece of um, skin from my thigh and then they put it on my face and they stitched my ear so I have stitches at the back of my ear but my ear is still fine it's normal it's a normal ear um but yeah they had to stitch at the back of my ear my ear back um what else did they have to do oh yeah then they uh basically had to take the the skin from my thigh and then they did skin grafting so i think they did a good job looks okay my face looks normal um but yeah now when i grew up i'm always like <laughs> they took uh skin from my thigh uh, so it always would be if someone has to kiss me, I'll be like, yeah, kiss my ass. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's so funny. <laughs> I just think like, okay, you basically not even kissing my face, you're kissing the skin that's from my body. But um, yeah, it was weird. And uh, I just am so grateful I'm alive, actually. Um, what else happened when I was in the hospital? Yeah, I just remember the Rice Krispie thing, so I don't eat that anymore. And uh, I remember... My mom stayed with me, I was in there for like a week or so. Um, the stitches, I had to go back and remove them. Uh, so yeah, my face was just it was so messed up and uh, I just hated that time of my life and I just hated the way I looked. 
and I was like not confident with myself but I think as I grew up I really like embraced it I also used to get teased in school for it they used to call me Chucky and Scarface and all that shit now when I look at those people I'm like where are you and look at me where am I so shame um, so yeah that kind of mentality will get you nowhere bullying people and teasing people and um, you know that's that's not nice so I didn't appreciate being called Chucky or um, Scarface or whatever uh, because I think that um, it's who I am and uh, it just gives me some sort of character and uh, I love it and yeah I don't really know what else to say oh yeah so in case you're wondering my thigh skin has grown back um, there's nothing missing from there uh, it's normal I don't have any um, weird mark or scar on my thigh it's normal um, it looks good so yeah there's nothing very much different about it um so oh, yeah straightening my hair was like a weird thing to do because like it's so hard to like talk and do this it's like hard to concentrate i don't know why i chose to do this in this video so yeah this is it um thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you have enjoyed this video uh now you finally know who's responsible for this thing here on my face <laughs> uh yeah so thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video please make sure to like and subscribe bye